What's going on everybody? Motown EDC here. I'm back again with another video. I know it's been a while. Still trying to figure out this whole work thing and schedule and well, I really know the schedule. It's just finding good times to actually make a video, find a nice quiet spot. Um, but hopefully I'll be getting back into this pretty regularly. Um, but today's video I'm just going to be going over some a few things I've had in my EDC here recently that I've been using a whole lot. Um, I have, like I've said before, I have been falling away from moderns, but over this past month, I, I have really only been carrying slip joints and traditionals. Um, I haven't really carried any moderns this month at all. Uh, I'll either carry one traditional or two. I'll have one on my belt and one in my pocket or just one on my belt or just one in my pocket. You know how it goes, but I'll save the knife for last, but just because it, I have more to talk about it than the other things. Uh, one thing I have been carrying is this little pocket pry bar, a little uh, widgie bar from County Com. I use this quite a lot at work. I have to change out receptacles and stuff, so I have to take off uh, the cover plates. And um, we use those Allure uh, receptacle covers where it's just a little mounting plate that goes onto the screws and then a cover plate that goes on top of that. So it, it basically makes your receptacle look like it has no screws in it. Uh, but there's a little um, slot on the bottom where the cover plate goes in where, that you have to pop out to get to the screws. So I use this a lot for doing that and also me having to go back and fix things. I have to, um, a lot of times I'll have to kind of pry the receptacle cover off of the wall because it's painted on there. Um, so a lot of times I'll use this for that. Uh, with this one, you can see kind of it's kind of ground uneven. I need to fix that. Uh, this side's thinner than that side. So a lot of my prying, I've just been using this side for. It's not really focusing that well. Maybe you can see it like that though. But I use a lot that side more. I need to grind this side down so it's even and thinner so it can actually fit up under there and get that stuff done. Uh, but I use this thing a lot. You can see it's, it used to be a lighter gray. Now it's just kind of been sweated on and gotten darker and kind of rusty and Tainered up is what we say around here. Um, I just have a little lanyard thing on there. This just rides in my pocket. Beating and banging on my chapstick. Uh, but the other thing is I have to drive around a lot because we have several properties that I'm back and forth to. Um, so I drive my work truck to and from there and I wanted a good pair of sunglasses that are also safety rated. Um, but I found these ones, these are uh, Co Eyewear. I really like these ones a lot. Um, UV 400, category three, they're polarized and they've got the Z87 and Z rated uh, lenses. So they are safety glasses, but they still, they look pretty good. I like them pretty good, they're a little bit big. A lot of their designs are big, but it's just so you get more coverage on your face for more protection. They've got these little wings out here to keep stuff from getting in the side. Um, I really like that. And I like the lightning bolts on there. I think that's pretty cool. But they feel super sturdy. I mean, I haven't really done anything to put them to the test. I mean, I don't beat up sunglasses. Well, I kind of do. I did got accidentally throw them on the ground the other day. I had them on my hat like this. And then I bent down to grab something and it just went right on the concrete. But I don't see, I don't see any scratches, just smudges from my greasy fingers. But I will get to the knife. This one has been in my pocket pretty regularly since I've gotten it. Um, I've taken a little paint chip in there, but I've taken some time since I've been off of YouTube to kind of dial in what I'm really needing for my job and what I actually use. Um, and this one has basically filled those needs. What I like is I like to have a main 
blade and a secondary blade um, or just one main blade or maybe even like a stockman or something uh, but my priority is I'm not really big on sheep's foot not sheep's foot uh, worn cliff blades um, I know they do very well with utility cuts and stuff like that but in a traditional I don't really I don't prefer them if I'm gonna get a straight edge with a precise tip I'm gonna get a worn cliff or a uh, that gun I'm mixing everything up uh, a sheep's foot um, but for the main blade I would prefer it to be a clip point or a um, spear point so with my needs and wants kind of lining up together I got this GEC 35 Churchill matches up with my 72 fat spear or as I call it the fart spear it's got the ebony covers with the hot dog shield you can see I use this thing well that's what I was saying I like to have a main blade with belly the clip points very utilitarian same thing with the spear to me but those are my two preferred main blade shapes now this one's got the clip point it's nice and sharp uh, cut up some chicken with it yesterday it's got the teeners it's beautiful I've actually used this thing more than probably any of my other knives I've also kind of started using my knives getting out of the mindset of a knife guy um, and I, I feel like I get more enjoyment out of it I get more enjoyment out of just kind of beating up my knives and using them instead of being particular with what I cut I cut everything with this but this is what I was saying earlier sheep's foot I like to have that straight edge again for some of the things I can't get with this I'll get with this like sometimes I can't get those um, receptacle covers off with that just because that's too fat and it'll damage the wall so I take this out and I can cut around the outside of the receptacle covers and kind of pry it off a little bit and it does a great job at doing that. Um, it's also great for utility cuts, having that straight edge, precise tip. And with that straight edge, I don't really need a whole lot to do the work I need to do with a straight edge. So it's still pretty, pretty stout for the size of the blade but that's really all I need. That's all I need. I use this blade more than I do the clip point. So I could really get away with just that or even just a little pocket utility knife, but this is what I like. So this is what I use. Um, I had this riding in a, a camouflage Richter slip. He sent this out to me. Uh, I've been bouncing back and forth between slips just to kind of figure out what I want for it. Um, I have talked to Erica about getting a pancake, or her trying her hand at making a pancake sheath, trying to see what comes of that. But until then, I think it's going to ride in this one. I like this combo pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Um, but that's pretty much all I've got for y'all today. It feels nice being back behind the camera and getting a video made. I uh, appreciate y'all. Um, one of the reasons I did make this video is because somebody posted a comment on one of my YouTube posts, not not my um, video or anything, but just said it was a highlight of his day and made me want to get back into it. Made me realize that people actually enjoy what I have to talk about and enjoy me showing off all these odd and end things. But I'm trying to get more towards finding things I enjoy and being content with what I have instead of going out and buying everything and buying the newest and fanciest and all that sort of stuff. So I'm kind of dialing in what I like and what I want versus what's popular. Um, and that's part of why I took a break from making YouTube videos is I got caught up for, or caught up, all caught up in that and I was spending all this money and chasing after knives and not getting any fulfillment out of it. But now I've focused on me, my needs, my likes, my desires, and all that stuff. 
and I've been getting more enjoyment out of the hobby and not being so obsessed and stressed over it. Um, Cause I feel like whenever you start chasing things, what's popular, what everybody else wants, what's gonna bring in the most money, stuff like that, like flippers and stuff like that, you lose the enjoyment. It becomes more of a job than a hobby and it makes it not fun. But having this break kind of made me realize that. And I've just kind of figured out how I'm going to go about it. And I'm glad y'all are along for the ride. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, guys, go use your stuff. Go meet some cool people. Learn how to sharpen your knives. Learn how to use them safely. As always, y'all come back and see me. Till next time.